Hey guys, Glenn here from Five Performance PC Cape Cod. Doing a quick video here today. Shouldn't take too long. Um, all right, so this is to do with the um, email addresses. Um, all right, so if you're running Windows 10 or Windows 11, and if you noticed in your emails, you know, you get a lot of junks and stuff that come through, and um, they're probably not junks, they're ones that you want to keep. And you want it to come into your inbox or somewhere else. Or uh, you're getting emails that you don't want. Well, with the email, with the um, with the um, Outlook email app on Windows 10 and Windows 11, there's nothing you can do with them. You can report it. You know, you can flag it. Um, or you can um, set it as not junk. But it'll keep coming to your junks. It will not change anything. So I'm going to show you... Uh, you can actually um, have stuff that you want go to either your inbox or to a folder that you create. Or if you want to block emails coming from a sender, I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, so let me just go ahead and um, I'm going to get over to my email app. Oops, sorry about that. All right, so, but you cannot do it now if you're running Windows 10, 11, or if you're using the Outlook Mail app on um, Android or iOS, um, there's nothing in there that you can do with the same as Windows. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Now, in order to get this so that you want to be able to do all that stuff, you're going to have to open your browser, and you want to go to Outlook.com. So I'm going to go ahead. I already have Outlook pinned to my um, home screen. Um, so you're going to go to Outlook.com. And let this open up. And then what we're going to do is, okay, so now I've got my email address opened up. And, all right, so you want to go to your junks, and I'll show you what to do. And I'm going to go to my junk email. And, all right, so now I've got a whole bunch of stuff here sitting in my junks that I want to, these are the ones that I want to get rid of. I want to block every single one of these because you do know that, um, you know, websites sell your information. So let's say you're ordering something from a site and you give them your email address and all that, to, you know, so they can ship your stuff. And if you sign up to get, you know, emails from them all the time, they also take your email address and they will sell it for the money. And they sell it to other places. And that's how you end up getting stuff in your junks. All right, so now you can just easily just you know, um, click and open an email, and um, if you look in the one that I opened, you'll see um, a trash can. Now, I can delete that, but I don't want to do that. I actually want to get rid of all these email addresses. All right, so starting with, see right down here where it says yesterday, right below, so right where I'm tapping. All right, I'm going to do those emails in that block right there from today to yesterday. Um, so what I'm going to do is, all right. If you're on a desktop, you want to uh, right-click on here. I'm going to go ahead and hold my finger. All right, so off to the left of the email. See the, the circle with the two letters in it, um, which is right here. I right, just put a dot. Um, you want to do that. And then see now there's a circle to each one. I'm going to just keep clicking each one right on the circle. And I'm going to keep going down until I get down to where I want. Now, these are all emails that I don't want, and I do not want them coming in. All right, so I've highlighted all those emails right there. Now, what I'm going to do is, um, if you're on a desktop, you're going to right-click with your mouse. Um, or if you're on a touchscreen device, take your finger and you hold it on one of the emails. A box pops up, and see you've got delete, move, copy, categorize, mark as read, Mark is unread, flag, unflag, report, block, and view. So you want to click on the one that says block. And then you want to tap on or click on block sender. Now see now it says block. And then it tells who you're going to be blocking. And if you look in there, read where it says this message, right, will be added, will be deleted in all future messages from... And see where it gives the email address? You want to pay attention to that. And I will show you why in a minute. 
All right, I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And um, I'm going to go down and I'm going to... All right. So now I just blocked all those senders. All right. So now I'm going to go down. All right. I've got one here that says it's from CVS. And I know it's not from CVS because um, just by the way, um, I'm going to show you why. I'm going to hold my finger on this. And I'm going to block it. I'm going to click on block. And I'll tell you why. Block sender. Okay. So I'm going to click block sender, right? So now it says block CVS pharmacy and with a heart. CVS is not going to put a heart in with their stuff. All right. So you know how you can tell this is really not CVS? This message will be deleted and all future messages from. And here's the email address. Check this out. All right. It says PJ... H O J at U A. Um, it looks like it's a D. Um, yeah, D T X A and then a small O W six dot U K. Oh, wait a minute, I've got the at sign, that's where it was. All right, so it's P-J-H-O-J at U-X-D-T-X-A-O-V-6 um, dot C-O dot U-K. That is not a real email address, and it's coming from the U-K is what it looks like it's coming from. Um, so you got to be careful because a lot of emails, they can manipulate what they want um, the email to look like that it's coming from, which is not a, a real email address. I've blocked this, I don't know how many times, and it keeps coming through because they're changing the information that's there. So I'm going to go ahead and block that again for probably about the fifth time. All right, so now um, I've showed you how you can block an email. Now, what if there's something you want to... Oh, yeah, i got to show you something else, too, because... Um, well, no, actually, that's the same. See, I got another one right here, CVS, same one, and, of course, the email is going to be totally different. I'm just going to unblock this one again, and let me just go ahead and get this opened up. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click block, block sender. All right, and see, it's got a completely different email address, LLKZAV at, um... What's that? O two M Y D J G Z dot C O dot U K. So it came from a completely different email address. Now, um, all right. Let me come down. Let me find one that I do want to keep. Just see if I have any here. Yeah, Best of MSN. Okay. So I'll do this. Best of MSN. This is from Microsoft. Um, let me go ahead and I'm going to hold my finger on this because I want to, I want to keep this and I'm going to send this. I have a, a Microsoft folder. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and down the very bottom of this box that came up, I'm going to click advanced act. Well, actually you can do one in one of two ways. You can either bring up this box or if I open the email, I can go over here to the email and I can... Um, do it, but I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and bring my box back up. All right, so I'm going to go down here to advanced actions. A second box appears. See where it says create rule? You want to create the rule. And now, see it says select a folder? So now I'm going to select a folder, and I don't have one here that I want to use. So I'm going to go ahead and go down to move to a different folder. And now what I'm going to be able to do is go down and look for the folder that I want to use. And I do have a Microsoft folder right here. So now I've got it to go to my Microsoft folder. I'm going to click OK. And then it's creating. And then it says your rule was created. Now see that box says run this rule now in junk email. I'm going to put a check mark in it and I'm going to click OK. So now, every time I get an email, 
from them, from Microsoft, it's going to go to that folder and not come to the junks. So that is how you take care of emails. And you can actually, um, all right, I'm going to leave, well, let's see, I'll leave that one there. Um, okay, let's see, um, do I have another one that I want to keep? Um, I may and may not. But you can choose inbox if you want to send it to your inbox. Um, it's up to you as to where you send it. Or you can create a new folder. And I don't have anything here I can create a new folder with. But, um, like, I'll go back here to the send send one, right? And I'm going to go back to advanced actions. I won't change the rule, but um, I'm going to go ahead and, and click create rule again. Now, see, now I'm going to select a folder, right? And I'm just going to show you. Look down the bottom, it says, um, next to the bottom, it says create new folder. So you click on that, and then, see, now you've got where it's, the cursor's flashing, and I can create and name that folder, and I'd be all done with it. Um, that's how you create a folder. Once you're done in here, you know, you have to keep coming back here every time you want to do this stuff. For some reason, Microsoft is only giving you um, the option of doing this at Outlook.com and not in the mail app itself. So that's how you can either block senders that you don't want emails from, or you can create a rule to send it to either your inbox or a folder of your choosing. So that's how you do that. And that's what I'm going to show you guys. If you want to try and clean up your um, junk emails and stop stuff from coming, you can do that. Or if, like, say you have a email that's coming from a place you used to have that you, you know, you gave me your email address to. Um, let's say it's a grocery store, right? Um, and you get emails from them. Let's say you change your email address for some reason on this site. But you're still getting emails from them under the old because you let them allow to send emails to you. Um, you just want to go to their email, open it up, and look down the very bottom. I'll show you, um, a, for instance, okay. Um, this is Zeus Web Storage. Um, what you want to do with this is come down and go down to the bottom. And you're going to look. It's written really well. If you look down here at the bottom, see where I'm tapping, right above where I'm tapping. It says, if you view this email as a commercial email and unwilling to resolve it again, please unsubscribe. So I'm going to go ahead and, and click unsubscribe. And... This takes you to a unsubscribe page. Okay, see, and it says confirm unsubscribing to EDM. I'm going to click submit. So that's how you get rid of emails that you don't want anymore. Maybe you don't want to block them. You can just unsubscribe, and now you'll no longer get emails from that company. All right, so, hey, if you haven't subscribed to my um, YouTube channel, make sure you do. If you like the video, make sure you like it, and I will catch you guys in the next one. See you, everybody.